Hello and welcome PML fans, I'm your host Joseph Moore here, and I'm bringing you week 4 of the PML Draft. We are currently standing at 2-1, and one, with our only loss being to CC, we did beat the Polyrath last week, and this week we have the Holy Knights, or the Holy Crusaders, uh, uh, coached by Haseen. So, uh, he has a lots of setup potential, very scary team, so... We're going to have to really be prepared on how we attack this thing. Good thing is he doesn't have a uh, that wheezing, so I ain't got to deal with that. But, I mean, you can see he does have lots of scary Pokemon on his side. And um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and lead off with Moto Moto here. It was either going to be between Elsa and Moto Moto, so Frostlass or Hippowdon. Because, <laughs> oh, actually... Hold on. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, and we're back. Sorry about that. I accidentally had uh, leftovers on two Pokemon, and I didn't want to go into battle with it, because then I would have been DQ'd. So, I was able to uh, make a quick switch, and uh, now we can go with our leads. I do believe he led uh, Turtonator, and I obviously led Hippowdon. Alright, uh, here we go. So, looking good for me, because everything on his team is grounded except for the Halucha. So, I'm actually in a really good lead here. I can just Earthquake if I want to, or if I think he'll switch, I can go to... Uh, I can go to... Uh, what do you call it? I can go Stealth Rocks. Um, but I'm honestly... He is a uh, air balloon, so I'm just gonna go whirlwind, uh, because he could shell smash here, and he does. And the only move we could hit him with, uh, we can't, because he has an air balloon. So hopefully we'll get rid of his white herb or whatever he has on the. Well, never mind, he has air balloon. But yeah, let's uh get a better Pokemon in for us. Oh great, we got a Haxorus now. Okay, so, he can uh, boost up, but I'm going to go for the Yawn. Just in case he tries to switch back in with something that can set up. This is a this is a dangerous game we're playing here. <laughs> Honestly, uh, his whole team has great setup potential. Um, I don't know how many wins he has, but uh, it's, it's scary to say the least uh, how many... Uh, Pokemon can just come in and set up on his side. Alright, so we're just going to go for the Earthquake as he goes for the Dragon Dance. Hopefully we get a clean two-hit KO. And we get one big hit off right there. Does well over half. He does have a berry though, so he's going to get some health back. A lot of health back. But that should put him back in range of an Earthquake. We're just going to go Earthquake again. And he goes for the Dragon Claw. So he's going to get some damage off on us. And hopefully Earthquake is enough. And it is. So Hippowdon goes ahead and takes that thing down. And we're no longer taunted. So we're good. we're good to deal with whatever comes in here. With a yawn or a whirlwind or whatever we want to do. Now it just depends on what he wants to send in here. And he goes for the Turtonator again. So I'm just going to go for the... I'm going to go for the whirlwind again. Uh, Shell Smash is just too scary. I can't. I just can't let that thing set up in front of me. He has done way too much work in other leagues with this Turtonator. I cannot let him do it against me. But he is burning our sand. 
All right, so Naganadale is in. Sandstorm subsided, but that's fine. We should be able to take one of anything from this thing. We're just going to go for the Earthquake. As much as I want to get up Stealth Rocks, um, I just got to go for the Earthquake here. And we could not live that hit. All right, so he does get the beast boost. Is it a speed? It is a speed. Okay, it's a speed boost. We're going to go to Yoda here. We are magic guard, not uh, un un unaware or unburdened or unaware. Unaware. Ah. Uh, we're magic guard instead. I didn't want to get stuck in a, in a, what do you call it? A toxic spike with Mew Pukumuku. So that's where that stems from. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Moon Blast. Because he might just switch here. Oh, he goes for the Nasty Plot. So he's going for the win right now. Alright, so let's see if the Moon Blast can knock down that special by one. And it does. Okay, plus one we might not live, but we're just going to stay in here and go for the Moon Blast once again. And he's going for the Sludge Wave. We should be able to live. And we don't. So that's another speed boost on his part. Oh, because of a crit. Oh, man. So crit is hurting us. That crit hurt us big time. We should have been able to live that one hit. Okay, so now he is... I think he's still plus one. Um, I'm going to go Elsa here. Then I go Elsa. That's kind of a waste. I mean, I just don't have much else to do. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go Project X. It's kind of a waste, but I'm just going to have to go to it right here and try to live a hit and dish one out. So we are already on the back foot big time. Um, I'm just going to go for the Outrage here. I pretty much hit everything on his team. Okay, Draco Meteor is going to drop his attack again. And yeah, we don't live that. But now its attack is dropped again. So, I mean, that's a positive in a way. Okay, let's see what we want to drop here. I'm, I'm going to go to Lone Wolf. We, we should be able to live any hit. And I'm going to go for the... Uh, I need to go for the Rock Fall. As much as I want to go for the Max Mindstorm, I got to go for the Max Rock Fall. Because we got to pull this back. So it should be negative two special attack now. I should have checked. Either way, we got to knock this thing out. Hopefully we can take a hit. We should be able to take a hit. But as you can see, I told you, this guy's team can just fire off moves and not worry. <laughs> Not really worry about what we do. Okay, so we took that very well. We get our max rock ball off. He still has Dynamax in the back as well, though. And that Turtonator can be very scary. We should outspeed the Turtonator even after a Shell Smash, though. Because we are Sand Rush. And he even might just have to Dynamax right away, too. Because, uh... Lycanroc's about to just punch some holes now. Okay, he goes Grimmsnarl. 
And he's just gonna thunder wave us. I mean, there's nothing else we can do about it. So I'm just gonna go for the max uh, max steel spikes. Oh, he goes to the reflect. Okay, that's actually in a way a little bit better. Because then uh, our speed isn't halted. But that does burn our Dynamax. But we do get a defense buff. And let's see if he goes for that Thunder Wave here. Hopefully not. He does. Okay, so now we're now we're crippled by the Thunder Wave. Let's just get this attack off. Thank you. So Grimmsnarl goes down. And he still has Dynamax in the back. So we are not in a good position just yet. Especially with this uh with this paralysis. Okay, so he decides to go wheezing here. He's going to get off the Misty Surge. So now the question is, does he hard switch or does he stay in? Uh, either way, I'm just going to go for the Psychic Fangs. That's all we can really do here. Oh, and we actually Shatter the Reflect. So that's a good thing. But he could take us out here with... Oh, he gets Haze off. That's fine. We don't have an attack boost. So we should be able to eliminate uh, this thing on the next hit. Alright. Psychic Fangs. Let's go. And it's enough to get the kill. Sandstorm subsided, so we're not going to be faster than anything. All right, so if he goes to Lucha here, uh, we just got to hope uh, Psychic Fangs is enough to put it in KO range. He's either going to get that defense boost and unburden boost. And he might just try to go for the Oko here. So I'm just going to go Psychic Fangs. I mean, he might Swords Dance, hoping he gets a Paralysis. All right, so he gets the defense drops. <clears throat> and he still has, uh, and he still has, uh, what do you call it in the back? All right, we got to go Elsa. We can live any hit because we're focus Ash. He still has uh, Dynamax in the back, so. That might just be enough to be what kills us at the end. Um, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. It's Stab and super effective. He's going to go Acrobatics, which is going to hurt. Puts us in the red. <laughs> Curse Spotty nah, stops him from doing Acrobatics again. He might live this because of the special defense boost. And he does. Oh, that hurts. So I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam again. I mean, nothing else we can do here. He goes for the Poison Jab. He's going to get the kill. And we're going to be too far behind to to be able to come back against this team. So sadly, we're going to fall to 2-2. Two and two Unless, you know, something miraculous happens. But our last Pokemon is um, Motorhead here. And we are not Scarf. Even if we were, we couldn't lock into a move that would just get us the win anyway so I'm just gonna go for the for sure volt switch close combat oh, does a lot he didn't even have to shell smash or dynamax but he will and he'll get the win but hey I mean we we did our best we almost almost brought it back if that ice beam could have killed maybe we had a chance but again with the dynamax in the back I doubt that was a, that was gonna be a thing uh, GG Hasin, and uh, there you go, man. You got that other win. I'm not sure exactly how many wins you got, but you got 
plenty this time around. So ways we could have done better. Uh, not entirely sure, honestly. Maybe if we got some stealth rocks up, that could have helped us a bit. Um, as you can see, we really didn't have much opportunity to do that. Uh, Project X was kind of a wasted mine. I don't know why I keep bringing it. Might have to make a switch with that. But, um, yeah, I mean, air, air balloon. But, <laughs> oh well. Yeah, and that crit on Clefable was probably a big one. But what are you going to do? That's Pokemon, guys. GG, Hasin, and we'll see you guys next time.